With your Sports On Demand for Saturday, September 28th, I'm Alex Klein. Plenty of excitement for Michigan Tech's football team as it met 10th ranked Grand Valley State for homecoming. The Huskies were obviously excited because it was their first home game of the season. Before the contest, Tech officials dedicated the stadium to the Curley family. Ted and Tom both were head coaches and led their teams to conference championships. It's officially now Curley Stadium at Sherman Field. The ceremony took place under mostly sunny skies. And we'll start in the first quarter. 7-0 Lakers, Dan Madden doesn't catch the snap for the punt cleanly for Grand Valley State and a scramble in the end zone. Number four, freshman William Morano recovers the ball for the Tech touchdown. After Grand Valley's first drive, the Huskies defense made a number of great plays as well. Sault Ste. Marie's Nate LaJoy stops Arwan Kane Vesey. The score was tied at seven at the half. Now we'll jump to the fourth quarter. Tech leading 10 to seven, forced to punt. Quarterback Will Ark is also the punter. That's a nice kick and an excellent hustle by Jordan Jansen to down the ball inside the one yard line. The Lakers led 14 to 10 with six minutes remaining in regulation when Emmett Beeler found the end zone from eight yards out. The Huskies missed the extra point, but still had the 16 to 14 advantage. Huskies couldn't run out the clock though, and with 24 seconds to go, the Lakers' Arwan Kane Vesey easily scores from three yards. Grand Valley State avoids the upset, winning 21 to 16 over the Huskies. Went toe to toe with a good football team. That's where we believe we are. We believe we're a good football team and that we can compete with those folks. And, and our kids came out and they did that today. They put it out there and they gave great effort. And, and it would have been nice to have figured out a way to get a W and we'll keep working at it. The Huskies sacked the quarterback six times for 46 yards. Tech is off next weekend before hosting NMU in the Miners Cup game on October 12th. And NMU hoping to spoil Ferris State's homecoming today, but they fell short. The Bulldogs win 38 to 10 despite five fumbles as they pop with the lone touchdown for the Wildcats. Now to some high school football, eight man Engadine visiting Superior Central. And things looking good for the Cougars early on fourth down. Kyle Frusty finds Zach England for the first down. And the home team looks to be in business moving the chains. But not long after, Frusty suffers a pretty gruesome arm injury. His teammates gathering around him. He'd have to be taken to the hospital with a broken arm. And that's when the tables turned. Engadine third and goal at the nine yard line. That's Ian MacArthur, the quarterback, keeping it and taking it in for the TD. Eagles are up 14 nothing. Second quarter, 20 nothing now. Superior Central looking to get something going. A little trickery. Zach Anglin flips it to Zach Bukowski, but that is intercepted by MacArthur. His teammate Charlie Snyder trying to give him some love, but he doesn't get it, so he finishes the low five himself. That's just too funny. Engadine taking over at the 35. MacArthur flips it to Hunter Dennis just in time, and he is off to the races. Finally tracked down inside the 10 yard line. The next play would result in another touchdown to make it 27 nothing. Engadine would go on to win 47 to 14. And in 12 man football, West Iron County handles Go Gibbick 45 to 20, and Sault Ste. Marie gets another win. They take down Ogama Heights 24 to 12. And in boys soccer, Marquette won better than Northland Pines 2 to 1. In college volleyball, Michigan Tech head coach Matt Jennings looking for a weekend sweep as the Huskies host Lake Superior State. Start in the first set. Lake State serving. Number 17 is Sarah Bailey from Detour High School in Drummond Island. She had four kills in the first five Lakers points. Bailey had nine kills overall. Tech picked up the pace. Laura DeMarchi sets Olivia Gormley. For a tip kill, Gormley led everybody with 16 kills. Now Rachel Ping, Laura DeMarchi to McCauley Peterson for the down line kill. She had 11, Tech up 9 to 7, and the Huskies, they won the first set 25 to 20 and poured it on from there. Tech gets the sweep, three sets to none. And one other GLIAC volleyball score, Saginaw Valley State defeats NMU in five sets, three to two. The Wildcats had the two sets to one lead, but the Cardinals able to come back and win the final set, 18 to 16. And in high school volleyball at the Redette Rumble, Marquette defends its home court. They take two in a best of three sets in the finals, the first 25 to nine and the second 25 to 10. And in Gleag Women's Tennis, Michigan Tech blanks Ashland 7-0. And Lakes Pierce State falls to Wayne State 6-1.